हेलो फ्यूचर टॉपर्स वेलकम टू स्ट्रिक इनिशिएटिव ऑफ सिविल स्टडी टू इंश्योर कंसिस्टेंसी इन योर डे टू डे प्रिपरेशन माय नेम इज संतोष गुप्ता एंड आई एम बैक विद द मोस्ट प्रोबेबल टॉपिक्स फॉर प्रिलिम्स 2021 फॉर द इकोनॉमिक्स सो लेट्स स्टार्ट द फर्स्ट क्वेश्चन इज व्हिच ऑफ द फॉलोइंग गिवन बिलो आर द फ्यूचर ऑफ द कैपिटलिस्ट इकोनॉमी दिस इज अ वेरी सिंपल क्वेश्चन एंड यू जस्ट हैव टू understand the basic differences between capitalism as a system and communism as a system to differ, uh, differentiate between both of them so let's read the statement one by one public ownership of means of production so uh, if you uh, understand the basic concept of capitalism that is the private ownership of means of production it, uh, it visualize a system where there is an individual hand which maintains the uh, stability in the system in which everybody is competing in its own interest and it works out well for everyone but that is that does not happen to be true so fourth statement basically is the feature of the communist system not the capitalist system the first will not be true here and uh, production takes place of selling and output in the market so uh, uh, that is a true because all the production is for the selling in the market third is sale and purchase labor services at the price called wage rate so uh, purchase uh, even in the capitalist system labor is also a service so sale and purchase of labor services also have you must have observed at every chowk and chora there are labor sitting there and you can go and hire for a price to do your even the menial job so your uh, here your option 2 and 3 will be true so let's uh, understand even one more what is the basic difference between capitalism and communism so philosophers thomas hobbes and others we uh, were the champions of free market and uh, uh, command economy that is karl marx and he is uh, 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 lenin and uh, others uh, in free market we have uh, 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 ideas like uh, the invisible hand faith in the market competition will lead to improvement then you have command economy it believes that there is a class struggle between those who are the capitalists basically communism came in as a response to the capitalism which believes that there will be a class struggle between the capitalist class and the worker class eventually workers will win and establish a utopia system where even the state will be not required a perfect sense of communism and uh, but in actually in theory and practice there are lots of government regulation which works out and there is a public control on the wealth also but there will be a private control also because in theory ideas of communism has not been implemented anywhere in the world who determine the price it is the competition among the producers among the sellers among the buyers who will determine the price but in command economy like uh, government usually decide the price in if you remember in ussr soviet uh price were determined by the government even in sometimes like china also this system where there who determine the supply the producer will demand determine the supply as per the demand similarly for the demand but in case of command economy it is the government who decide the products produce he determines how much supply will be there how much demand is there and what kind of business you can take and what are the liberty available to you labor will be not be uh, sold as a freely as happens in the capitalism so uh, this is the basic difference and based on the, that you had your answer 2 and 3 correct so moving on to the next question on the agriculture and this has been very much in the news in recent uh, i think one year so first option is which of the following are the benefits of the contract farming so pehla hai availability of quality seeds for farmers yes Uh, we and what we understand from the basics of contract from farming Th that much knowledge here is required that okay there will be a farmer or a group of farmers uh, which will enter into agreement with a corporate i uh, will say okay corporate guy will say okay i will give you quality seed and in terms you give me the quality produce at a predetermined pri price that you will get at the end of the production so that is the basically the contract farm normally when you do the farming you grow your crops and sell into the market whatever the price is available at the time but in the contract farming uh, the contractor the company they will promise you the price 
in the future date in the beginning itself uh, they will uh, also give you quality seed that will depend upon the agriculture uh, the exact nature of agreement so there has to have a agreement between farmer or group of farmers with the corporate person that will make you ensure that okay you will get the quality seed you will get the fertilizer you will get the pesticide you will get the other technology that is required for the good produce and quality produce they will fix the quality of produce also assured procurement of produce just discussed that they will buy the entirely whatever you produce you do not have to bear the market risk or production risk at the time reduction in the price related risk that's just discussed new market for them farm products that is also happen if you want to grow only the potato or a special kind of potato that pepsico use for french fries so that will happen or kfc or burger king to produce a particular kind of crops that is required for the particular product that company is marketing so uh, that you can grow so, uh, for example gaur gum that is used for the uh, drilling of cell gas so uh, there those drilling companies will enter into agreements of producer of gorgum and they will uh, they will buy it but normally the market for gorgum will not be available because that is not a mass uh, commodity that is mass in demand so here all of your all of the options will be true so d is the correct but uh, recently it has also been much news because there is a uh, there was three farm wills that government brought for the benefit of the farmers but there were opposition from the farmers and opposition group also that it violates the interest it does not it is not much in the interest of farmers let's understand the basic ingredients of it that is it, it will enter into direct agreement and commercial agreement for the sale and product of that is true after the sale of, is decided by company uh, a buyer will be responsible providing necessary means or input that we discussed they will provide seeds quality fertilizer pesticide and other things to have a quality produce even the uh, uh, contractor can provide you agriculture machinery or equipment by the buyer buyer will also provide technical guidance during crop production crop will continue to owned by the farmers and crop will be insured so the another added benefit is there that crop will be insured in case there is a loss farmers will not be at the loss crop grown under agreement shall be exempted from the rules and laws related to the sale of agriculture producer provision essential commodity act so any amount of uh, uh, crops can be grown and any uh, type of crops can be grown and they will be beyond the essential commodity acts those uh, corporate uh, person they can able to insure it and produce process it in the market so if you have a good look at the act it is in intensely it is targeted to the benefit of the farmers but it is said to be skewed toward the big farmers because they have uh, they have lots of land and corporate person will try to enter into agreement with them itself but a smaller farmers they may not benefit from much from it but if you it will definitely change the demand supply equation and then small farmers may be at the loss so that's why there is a lots of opposition but the, now the act has already been in the, in in effect and uh, the, it is being also implemented in the many states there is also a model contract farming aid 2018 but many of the state did not implement that's why center brought this act farmers agreement of price price assurance and farm services bill so that it becomes mandatory for the state to implement it so that is all for the contract farming please read other two acts also their silent provision and that will be highly helpful for the prelims 2021 so moving on to the next question it is a easy question on the agriculture buff, uh, buffer stocking operations which of the following uh, given below carry out the buffer stocking operations in india what is the first question that should come into your mind what is a buffer stock buffer stock is created by the government or its agency so it, there is a very high price fluctuation and fall in the price or there is shortage that then you can use those stock for the stabilization of the uh, fluctuation or fulfill the demand immediate demand so fci traditionally used to do it national agriculture cooperation marketing federation nafed were later authorized to do it for the pulses and other goods then a small farmers agri business consortium basically this is a, a type of company which 
uh, protects the interest of small farmers, gives them uh, many technical and financial help to the farmers. So they also have very uh, good presence in India, and so they, they were also empowered to do this stocking of buffer of uh, stocking of, so that in time of need they can help the farmer. They can uh, they can release the commodity in the market, and so the price will stabilize. So that is basically uh, here. All of your options will be true. But let's uh, stack the uh, understand the concept of buffer stock once more. It was introduced in Fourth Higher Plan itself to ensure first of the food security and also provide the provide the uh, food grains for the public distribution system. Now comes under the National Food Security Act and in times of crop failure or natural disaster, then people need immediate food. So if you see in the times of uh, let's say flood or the earthquake, the packets are given to the um, uh, those who are displaced. So these kind of things come from the their buffer stock uh, that you have. Then uh, there is uh, it all uh, cabinet committee allows NAFED, SFAC and FCI to prepare pulses recently for the buffer stock. So not only the buffer stock concept stabilize the prices, it also ensure right to food to every individual and also guarantee food security overall and now it is being done for the not only the rice and wheat but also for the pulses because pulses prices have been very fluctuating so both offset price fluctuations and unforeseen emergency there comes the concept of buffer stock and more will be merrier and more organization will be more helpful so moving on to the next question on consider the following statement Indiv uh, angel investors are high net worth individual who in which their personal income business startup or small and medium scale companies. So see, uh, uh, not all the requirements of companies or startups will be fulfilled by the taking loan from the uh, banks because many times they do not have the credit history or they do not have uh, like asset to mortgages. So banks will not provide them that much of money. So th they depend upon the alternative investment schemes and one of them is uh, angel investors and angel are those like it is aptly named those will be net or very high worth individuals like the, those members who have the tech founders or they have lots of money at the disposal they will invest in the promising startups and small and medium scale companies who will get very high returns so that is true here exemption from angel tax for companies have been increased to 200 crores as per new rules so th that is not true uh, this uh, uh, now what is happening what was happening that through the angel investor come earlier it was uh, uh, the tax was not being imposed on the angel investor so many there was a cons black money was being ro rotated to the invest in the startups and then you will convert black money into the white money so now rules have been changed so let's uh, see how the rules have been changed earlier uh, uh, investment were exempted up to let's say 10 crore but now it has been exempted up to 25 crore from the tax and now again uh, eligible startups have been increased that is you have to have 100 crores of revenue to get the benefit uh, get the investment from the angel investor and listed companies only would have net worth of 100 crores or sales of 200 crores will be an invested uh, exempted from the angel tax it means that those startups who are already established who are like uh, uh, those uh, investors like Zomato and others, those who have uh, already established paid TM, those who have already established and there is no scope for uh, uh, black uh, money rotting into the as a investment, those will be only allowed. So here the limit has been increased and then only you will get the exemption from the tax. So statement 2 will not be true here. So only one will be true. Here is your answer. So let's understand the basic of the alternative investment funds also. This is apart from the normal bank uh, fund funds that is available in the market that is the co corporate houses or banks. But these are the three can be divided into three categories. Those who invest in a startup SME and socially economic viable projects like angel fund that were the individual then there will be a venture capitalist fund they are the companies and those there will be board members and others who will invest the company money into the uh, uh, startups so they will get very handsome return when the company established they will sell off their stake and they will earn the money 
देन कैटेगरी टू यू हैव दोज इन्वेस्ट इन द इक्विटी एंड डेप्ट स्कीम तो आर प्राइवेट इक्विटी फंड दे आर सिमिलर टू काइंड ऑफ एंजल इन्वेस्टर बट दे आर मोर विजिबल इन द पब्लिक डोमेन द प्राइवेट इक्विटी फंड दे विल बी दे आर हैंडल बाई द मोर वन और मोर दैन वन इंडिविजुअल देन दे आर डेप्ट फंड इंफ्रास्ट्रक्चर डेप्ट फंड लाइक थिंग्स देन फंड ऑफ फंड लाइक नेशनल इन्वेस्टमेंट फंड दे आर द फंड ऑफ फंड कैटेगरी थ्री देन हेज फंड एंड प्राइवेट इन्वेस्टमेंट इन पब्लिक इक्विटी फंड हेज फंड आर दोज हूज ऑनरशिप ऑनरशिप आर नॉट वेरी वेरी क्लियर एंड सो दे आर लॉट्स ऑफ रेस्ट्रिक्शन ऑन दोज काइंड ऑफ हेज फंड बिकॉज दे मे बी ए चैनल ऑफ राउटिंग ब्लैक मनी इन टू एज इन्वेस्टमेंट एंड वाइट वॉशिंग मिट सो दैट इज द थ्री थ्री कैटेगरी ऑफ अल्टरनेट इन्वेस्टमेंट फंड Moving on to the last question on the banking regulation. Which of the following are the features of Banking Regulation Amendment Act 2020? So we know that recently PMC Bank was uh, was failed, and then uh, it prompted the government, uh, and uh, there are other banks also that has failed. So it prompted the government to bring the cooperatives also into the fold of the regulation of RBI. Earlier it was being regulated by the state governments, so now it will be regulated by the Regulated by the RBI itself, so issuance of shares and securities by the cooperating banks, so that will be under the regulations of the RBI on the similar lines of private banks, scheduled commercial banks or foreign banks. Suppre so, uh, supervision of the board of directors if they are inefficient or they are involved in the corruption and they have led to the banks being at the stage of failure, then their boards of director will be superseded by the RBI and the RBI RBI will. Govern their board or appoint the alternative boards of director to manage the bank, allowing the central bank to initiate a scheme for the reconstruction or amalgamation. So, if a RBI sees that okay, particular cooperative bank is on the verge of failure or it is not doing well or it is too small to do anything, then it can uh, initiate an scheme for merging of two cooperative banks which are nearby or which are involved in the similar functions. so in that way it will help them to survive more and compete the private banks and so small finance bank and other payment banks in that direction also save the public money so here overall objective is to save the public money that exist in the cooperative banks and save them from the failure and also uh, have an option for the public to take loan from those cooperative banks because they are more accessible in the rural and small towns so uh, so 1 2 and 3 is true till now bringing all nbfc under rbi regulation so this will be not true because nbfc are very large in the size there are very uh, very thousands of nbfc and they are all doing all kinds of funds some of them are under the regulation of sebi some of them are under electric funds they are regulation of state government some of them are under the regulation of housing like housing finance company under the nabard then some of them are registered as a A, a, a investment company under the company so there will be under regulation of ministry of corporate affairs so uh, all kinds of regulators are there so only those who are the public depositing public deposit taking and we see are under the rbi regulation all uh, those who are very systematically important or systematically important investment companies who has bearing over the credit market or investment market will be are coming under the rbi regulation so not all nbfc are under the rbi regulation so here your only 1 2 and 3 will be true so you can see the more uh, uh, detailed provisions here also about the banking uh, amendment 2020 cooperative banks will be now audited as per the rbi rules there will be regulators uh, auditors appointed by the rbi so just like scheduled commercial bank they will also need pro, uh, prior note from rbi they cannot appoint anyone as ceo they will need prior note as it happens for the scheduled commercial and private banks and most important they will be protect the interest of the depositors while ensuring better professionalism corporate governance on the lines of the scheduled commercial bank private banks other small finance bank or foreign banks so basically all cooperative banks now under the domain of rbi just on the lines of they will follow the all the rules regulation guidelines of rbi in matter of working in matter of corporate governance in matter of credit giving or in matter of auditing and in matter of protection of deposits of the public so all those things will be applicable
so thank you all of you for watching today video and uh, if you have not joined the stick initiative you must join by clicking link on the description and do join the telegram group to get the summary of prs rasa tp and burning issues together along with the question of this video and if you want to score more than 125 in this year prelims do join the webinar by sajal sir uh, chief learning officer of civil Staley. So learn the tricks so you can get at least 20 marks more than you can score. Thank you for watching. Subscribe to our YouTube channel and press the bell icon on the YouTube app and never miss another update from Seville's